There we go. The last few weeks are among some of the hottest days that I've ever experienced. The temperature is searing outside. You step outside, it's like walking out into an oven. When the wind is blowing at you, it's like a blow dryer. It's right in your face, blowing heat. That's exactly how it feels. You step out into the grass, it's crunchy, it's dried up. You can see some small ponds are also drying up. I'd hate to say, but unfortunately, it is too hot to fish sometimes. Luckily, there is a spot that I used to fish all the time. This spot has some cover. It is too hot. So we go to the spot, hoping that the luck is going to change. All right, good morning, y'all. Here we are at a park. This I haven't been here in a long time. It's been around maybe a year or two that I've been here. But I like to come to this park when the wind is blowing like 20 at the beachfronts and there's a lot of seaweed. So from the last report that we got is that there is a lot of seaweed rolling in. And right now, I looked at the weather and it was blowing around 18 on the seafront. So I'm not going to do that. I feel that coming here and uh, the tide is also coming in. So uh, when it gets really windy, the water starts to push in much higher than normal into the bay. And then also with an incoming tide, so it pushes a lot of fish in here. So this is why we're here. So today we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be casting off big old crabs. We're gonna crack them in half. We're gonna cast them into the channel and hopefully hook some big fish. Let's do it. I'm excited. It's been here a long time, so hopefully we can hook up some giants. When I pulled up, I saw gar rolling in. I saw big tails, like yay big, huge tails. So hopefully we can hook on one of those. And but overall, let's fish and see what happens. Before I start to do that, I do want to mention I got one of the most convenient tools that I've ever owned for fishing. This is a rod runner. I was able to put uh, two big surf rods on here, 12 foot rod, 11 foot rod. I got a seven foot offshore combo here and a bait caster. I can carry this easily, well balanced. Too like that I can carry with my finger. This thing here is probably one of the best things that I've ever bought for fishing. Check it out. Sick. How long have been here? I'm gonna rig up the 12 foot flight real quick. Let's see what kind of leaders we're gonna use. We're gonna go ahead and use this black leader here from third coast. That's another crabs from Drum. You got your boy red now? There you go, man. Hell yeah. It's red. Hell yeah, look at that. One of them nice over slot ones. Oh, there's some there's some more there's a lot of action going on right now. I better get a line out. You need a, you want me to get that for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a lot red. <clears throat> here, I got it, man. Bring it over here. Pull it up easy. Hey. That's it, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. Oh. <clears throat> Got to wrap that up. Nice. Gonna put a double drop rig on here. Oh, I thought this was a double drop rig. We're gonna put double crabs on here. We can cast it out close. Maybe along this dock over here. See what happens. Usually we use this combo here for lures, but we got the power clip on here with a 60 pound or 80 pound fluoro. I know it doesn't make sense to have fluoro in a bright green line, but we got the power clip on so we can switch rigs. If tomorrow we decide to go fishing with lures, we can just take this right off and put lures on here. Open up the clip. This is, I think this is a three ounce weight. 
That's perfect. This is perfect for what we're targeting with this. Beautiful. Man, we're all set up nicely now. Perfect. It never fails that every time one steps away from the rods, they start to go off. And this here, this is exactly what happened. But this reminds me of an incident that I had at Seawolf Park. It's one time I was out, I had to use a restroom, I walked out to the porta potty to take a shit, and I came back to my real half spool. I had a huge 46 inch red. Check this out, it's going off, let's go. Ah oh, man, how did I mean? Oh, it's under the docks. The one under the dock. Uh huh. I put under the dock. You went up on it? Yeah, I got it out there. Come over this way, son, if you need to. I got it. Yeah, definitely a drum. It's a chunky one. Big boy. Oh, there was a snag there. Got it out. So I think it's a red, man. I think so. Nice nah, drum. Um, I just think right there, right there. Perfect. Here, I'm gonna try to walk this way. Nice. It felt bigger than normal. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Here we go. It's a big drum. Hell yeah, I appreciate it, man. No 
well hooked right there right on the lip that's where we want to get them at right here wow what a beast big fish huh see how long it is it's like 40. That's still too bad. Nah. <sighs> Forty one inches. <laughs> Thought y'all a big old drum. Woo, this one's heavy. Took a nice size crab. This one's thick, look at the shoulders on it. Whew. Real heavy. Check it out, y'all. Look, look, look. I wasn't a camera working. All right, I gotta let it go. Ah. Ooh. I gotta pack it up. It is way too hot. It's already 102 degrees outside. I can't fish that. I can't do this much longer. I have a headache. My skin feels hot. I feel like I'm gonna melt. We're gonna pack it up and come back later. We still got a bunch of crabs left. It's not worth it. I don't want to get out here and dehydrate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack it up and come later on tonight and hopefully we have better luck. All right, so let me show you what I caught the fish on. This is gonna be the Okuma Salinas 8000 here. This here holds around 400 yards of 50 pound braid. It also has 45 pounds of drag, but of course we didn't put 40 pound pounds of drag because the way that I use drag is I use one third of the pound weight. So half 50 pound braid, so I'm gonna be putting around, what, 16 pounds of drag or so, something like that, 15 pounds of drag. So, uh, beautiful reel here. Nice gold accents, check it out, y'all. I mean, this is actually, the clicker's pretty decent too, see if you can hear it. Sounds really good. And then here, the rod, this is gonna be on Akuma PCH Custom, check it out, y'all. I'm using this rod to cast out baits, but I'm also using it to cast big lures. Beautiful rod here. You can use this offshore also. It has a gimbal at the bottom. If you need a fighting belt, check it out. And one of my favorite things about this rod here is the quality on here. It has the little Kuma logo here. Nice grips. It has an Alps seat right here. Check it out, y'all. Alps guides. Nice quality rod here. This is what you call a budget beast. You can, you can catch anything on this thing. It looks great. All quality components too. Check it out, y'all. Beautiful setup. 